Huh? You listen? Uh huh. I'm all ears. They got nothing to say right now. So, what happened was this morning, and I want I want you to listen to me real carefully. And I'm gonna tell you how all this started. Because whatever he's telling you, it's a lie. What happened was this morning, he. Started with me this morning. I got on live to talk to my supporters, and I got on live to talk to them about whatever I had to talk to them about. He get on J Rock get on live and say, "Who who sent Shamar some money?" So they start coming over there, saying that you know what I'm saying J Rock got on his, uh, live, said who sent him the money. I didn't. First of all, I I I made that money just to make it because of some fact that you know what I'm saying. But it wasn't no three hundred dollars though. Yeah. So it was you know what I'm saying it wasn't no three hundred dollars. The money that they gave me is the money that I you know I read on show on live. J Rock, he started with me and kept picking with me and kept nagging me. So now that he started nagging at me, I was just, I just wasn't having it. So you it could, so I just popped it, it out there. It, it would have never went that far. Huh? We can go to the videos. You want to do that? No, let's go to the videos. Let's watch them. Give me one second. What he did was, <clears> when <throat> I, 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 I was, let's watch the video. Hold on. The can I talk? Can I talk? Uh -huh. Yeah. Because I'm not trying to argue uh -huh. with you. What I want to say is, I, I'm talking to Ace, and I want you to listen to me very careful because me and Ace been on each other way before J Rock. J Rock just now coming around. I'm the one that introduced him to Ace. Okay, so what that being said was, what else he had? Did? Okay, so he ended up changing the name to the hotel room. He might remember my name was on a. Um, on the hotel. Yeah, I ain't know about that. Yeah, my name was still on the hotel. He decided to go downstairs and change the name or whatever. So, after he did that, I ended up coming over there to, you know what I'm saying, get my stuff without even trying to argue or fight with him. I was just coming over there, you know what I'm saying, get my stuff. He goes downstairs to tell them, oh, if they come, don't let them up. Don't let them uh, go up to the room. Mm -hmm. So basically, you changed the end, you put me out the hotel. That's exactly what you did. It would have never got this far, and it would have never went the way it went. Because they ain't had to turn up on it on, on delay at the hotel. But because I was upset, I was upset. Yeah, I meant my wrong, and, and I, 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 you know, I said did what I had to do, but it was, it was because of J Rock. It was because of him. So, so yeah, I'm just letting you know that he put me out that hotel room and he changed the name. Did it, if he tell you that, I don't know what I don't know what else to say. And me and you been on each other way before that boy. I fuck with you for real, but I just don't fuck with him. Because I be saying shit and I be people shit. Vante, Vante said, my friend who call you was in, uh -huh. he, he got tired of him. And he didn't want to be around him. So y'all both left together to go get my people. So y'all both arguing and and then I didn't even order that. The real gag is, he told us not to come. Because of some fact that, you know what I said, we was going to go anyway. We was already ready to go. We was already ready to come down there to, you know what I said, sit down there until you get out of jail. Even I was ready to go down there. Even I was ready to come down there. I was ready to come down there because I wasn't, I was, you know what I said, happy at all because you was in jail. And I kept saying, I kept telling my supporters, 
free my friend A. Free my friend A. I hope you got in jail. I hope you know what I'm saying. I don't know why they did that, but it's just like with J. Rock was just like, no, don't come. This and this third. Oh, the the bud I already take care of. This and this third. I said, okay, cool. But he just kept nagging at me with the money situation, talking about I didn't I didn't get him this and I didn't get him that. I didn't even know. I didn't even know that I had to. I didn't even know that he was gonna make me try to get him money because it, when, when he told me to get him the money, I ended up giving that money to your mama. That's why I didn't give it to him because I don't trust J Rock for real. And I'm being so for real. That boy scam. That boy do all this. That boy gonna fuck around and get somebody get somebody in some real serious trouble. I right, I'm not I'm not, I'm not lying. And then he sat up here and talked about my mama like bitch don't do this. Don't talk about my mama because I ain't saying nothing about your mama. Right is right and wrong is wrong. So if he <laughs> want a picture, if he want to try to put out a blame on me, he need me putting a blame on himself. Also. Look look. look. J Rock, it ain't that J Rock didn't want y'all to come. My mama said don't bring y'all because y'all was on live beefing. All y'all. And J Rock was dealing with my mama and coming up with the money for my bond and all that shit. And that's what I keep telling y'all. I explained all this in the house. So you wasn't listening to me. Or you probably wasn't paying attention or understanding what I was saying. No, I was listening to everything you were saying. So you mad and beefed up with me, but it wasn't giving all that because at the end of the day, yeah, you and J Rock was beefing, but and he said what he said. But if he was paying for it and was doing all that extra shit, it was like okay, let him do it. He was gonna pay for my bunch every day. Y'all was gonna pay, come up with whatever money, or y'all whatever y'all was doing. You know what I'm saying? But why start being plexed up and beefing about what he said that y'all supposed to have went and got pushed and then. I guess y'all felt the type of way about him. I guess y'all was live and y'all all went live and started talking about each other. Right or wrong? All y'all was on live talking about each other? That's correct as fuck. I mean... <laughs> After y'all went to go get pushed, right? Y'all was talking about each other on live? No, he was talking about me. Like, That's why I ended up saying what Like I both of y'all, y'all, you was talking about him and y'all talking about, y'all both talking about each other, right? Yeah, we was. So my mom was about him. said that she did not want to be around it. Cause she was at work and they supposed to have met up. Y'all all supposed to met up with her as she got to work, so she could come and bomb me out as soon as possible. So with that being said, when y'all all started talking shit to each other, and my mama knew that J Rock had the money to come bomb me out, and he was up all night doing this and doing that and talking to them and doing all that extra shit to make sure I was out of jail. You know what I'm saying? She was like, "Nah, okay." Don't bring them no more. You feel what I'm saying? I just want you to come. We'll do my mama felt more comfortable with J Rock coming instead of y'all because all y'all was just on Instagram doing all that rah rah shit. So it wasn't J Rock telling like, oh y'all can't come, but y'all got mad because y'all was able to get back in the hotel to get y'all shit. But y'all wanted to move on y'all time and go get my gay mama and drive down there to motherfucking um see me and shit when I got out. But what J-Rock probably was getting at was, like, if ain't nobody had no money to buy me out because $110 was not enough for my bond. So we have to, they had to regulate some more, more money than that shit to get me out. You feel me? So at the end of the day, well, like, I, yeah, y'all did. All I'm going to say is, but I... Two wrongs don't make you right. Two points better. Right. And it's all that I can see I've done. So two wrongs don't make you right. A-O. You can't, you can't add two wrongs to get all right. No, you just, I'm just saying. Just like Jailer said, all bad is waste. Gabe been talking shit. All them been talking shit. Everybody I been talking, talking shit. shit. Yeah, I have. I been talking shit. So, yeah. Just to give me shit you can have a listen. I been talking shit. Oh, but shit. It's giving the loop. But she know what I'm talking about, but I ain't gonna go fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> y'all can say what y'all say. I can feel how y'all feel. I ain't doing shit but speaking real shit. Like, he, he keeps scratching it, people. Where you going there with it? Because I need the loop. 
I need to find the location. What location? Dale. You ain't getting no location because you're crazy. They're poor. Who you talking about? Me. <laughs> talking to him. <laughs> Talk about whoever feel flexed up with him. I do. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm just so girl. Oh Lord. I'm, I just love the Lord, the Lord. But I, I the Lord just make sure I stay away. I don't even deal with folks that do too much. That's why I be by myself. Y'all folks can go ahead and go back where y'all came from. Like y'all said, y'all start following me because of that girl. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can go ahead and do y'all dudes and shit. Kick rocks, get the boot. I buy it. Talk to my folks. Mm -hmm. I, I'm trying to make money. I ain't even mad at Shamar. So all that shit, like I said, Shamar be feeling the energy around him. So it's just like he going to feel how he feel. And I'm not even going to entertain that shit. shit. These people is crazy. <laughs> These people is crazy. I don't do all the innocent that shit for real. But one thing about me, I ain't never beefing with nobody. I love everybody. I just want to make sure everybody solid, everybody stay hundred, everybody be on point. I'm just confused because I'm not mad about I was just any money that came from your supporters or that came off of your live or came from whoever I'm like I don't care if she kept the money because I did not even want Nobody to go live and ask the supporters for no money. You feel me? Off the simple fact, I didn't want my mama to find out I was in jail. But y'all did that. J Rock did that. Y'all all was on live doing that shit. And it got back to my mama. I'm not just saying you did it. Y'all all was doing that shit. And it got back to my mama. And after a certain point, you know what I'm saying? Y'all started getting a mix up with that money shit and the game drama between all y'all, which. Still, I did not want, like, J-Rock said he was going to come up with the money. So he thought maybe he could get some of the money off Laha and some money, some more money from here and there. With the but the live shit, I did not want at all. So it's like, I told you, I don't give a fuck about what money you kept, what money they said you took from me, what money was for A, so it was for what. You could have kept all that money in your pocket. It should never even been a situation on live because generally my name getting thrown around in the mix of it. Ace money. It's for Ace. Ace this, Ace that. Keep the money. Spend the money. Buy what you want. I don't care if your haircut was $40, 60 That's your money to me. And it's just like, I'm not beefed up about it, but I'm just calling out the whole situation. Like, y'all need to chill out because it's like you're all arguing, trying to fight over a bunch of nothing, a bunch of bullshit because one person feels this way, one person feels this way. You got all these people doing this now. Now, it's dry to me. Ain't got nothing to do with what nobody's told me. Oh, oh, girl. 
Yeah, boy. We do that shit. Sit back. Down. Sit your motherfucking ass down. It ain't even about him putting up the money. Like, I ain't even mad at Shamar. I went off on my friend Vontae. I wasn't mad at nobody. Whoever mad at me, that could be mad at me. I just, like I said, I don't get put. But the only reason why I'm not with Shamar right now, because Shamar was with them while I went there wrong and what they had going on. But I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I just got to jail. Like, tonight, I haven't even been asleep for for I took, like, a 10-minute nap. And Shamar cannot come back to this hotel room that j Rock got in. I'm the simple fact, they keep trying to beef with each other, first of all. Y'all need to make up. But y'all let the beef get too deep because y'all keep dragging extra people into it. Like, hold on, pause. Who is y'all? Oh, my boy. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about me. I don't think you're doing anything. I'm not even fucking I'm not saying J-Rock didn't go live or none of that shit. I'm not even taking those signs. I didn't even get mad at Shamar, so I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, J-Rock and Shamar got a problem with each other if I really want to be honest. Like, y'all can try to make somebody out doing something to Shamar and do a bitch-ass thing to Shamar. I don't know what the fuck about the brand new for hell. I'm waiting for me to slide that shit. Mm. I'm good on here. That's cool. Shamar cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not beefing with Shamar. I'm not beefing him. I keep telling him that. He beefing with J-Rock and they got kicked out this motherfucking hotel because my friend brought Shamar up here to act an ass at this man hotel. And now these people don't want Shamar and them back at this hotel. So what the fuck I'm supposed to do? Where y'all want to sleep? Y'all want me to go over there where y'all beefing and beefing with J-Rock when J-Rock just got me out of jail. So it's like, y'all really doing too much because we all could be cool. Like, why everybody want to beef and do all this industry and shit? Because fucking live and Instagram. And I ain't pick nobody's sides at all. But because all y'all want to be on live beefing, my mama talking about she going to take my car if I don't start doing different shit because I just went to jail. And... Y'all got my name going around the internet while I'm in jail and it's getting back to my mama and all this extra shit, right? And I ain't tell nobody to do that shit. Mm. So y'all can't blame it on me. Like this is what y'all chose to do. I didn't I couldn't tell y'all to act like this or do this shit. I ain't tell J Rod to act like this. I ain't tell them to act like this. I had no control on nothing that was going on down. I didn't sit your ass Good job. Good job. You are big size. You sound like a child. He got the money from Shamar supporters. Let's calculate how much money I got from them. So they can clear that real quick. Move. And what's that? <laughs> the baby, these people got too many motherfucking opinions. Y'all are too funny. Ain't nobody do nothing with Shamar. Shamar was with them when I was in jail. Shamar chose to go with them. Shamar could have chose to be so friendly with J-Rock, chill with J-Rock. She don't even know Bunte like that. So why you even go over there with them is my point. And J-Rock be doing everything for you and I'm gone right now. So why you ain't just stay around J-Rock? I don't know what the fuck y'all had going on. What the fuck? But y'all always arguing and beef with each other. So why y'all just go beef or argue get that shit over with? Like, why I had to go so deep this time? Like, why every time y'all go pay? Oh, it only went deep because of the police. That's when things got real deep. But it's not about that.
the cash ass, bro. It's about them beefing and arguing. At the same time, all I did was come and regulate some shit because I went off on my homeboy because I felt like he is the cause behind how all this shit played out and triggered out. Like, everybody got their opinions. I sat there and watched this shit for myself. I never once came at Shamar. And I told Shamar and I told him, the only reason why Shamar ain't here is because him and J-Rock can do this J-Rock Hotel. And J-Rock got kicked out. I mean, they got kicked out for trespassing at this hotel. The police got called and shit like that. So how you gonna come sleep here? And these people know you, they watch you on live. So they gonna know if you over here because you always on live. So therefore, that's gonna be more bullshit to deal with. Like, why would my friend even bring you up here to act an ass at this hotel knowing like J-Rock ain't here? So if he wasn't here, y'all should've just did something else until he came back or something. Like, it was no reason to be causing a scene in the hotel. So y'all talk about childish and all this shit. I never will mention nobody called me and even said they was here. I got a call from the hotel statement they was there. No, my friend, like I told my friend, my friend should have never took Shamar nowhere. He should never even stayed at this hotel. He should have left and went where he went. Because literally I know he feeling some type of way about me. And he on some weird shit because he feel like he want to be with me. And... He don't like J-Rock because J-Rock all up on me. And he feel like as my friend, he should have taken in Shamar and Shamar gonna follow the leader on my mama. So with that being said, he gonna follow the leader and shit. So since my friend, he feel like it's my close friend. He putting up that energy to be for J-Rock and then J-Rock beefing back with them. Like he gonna talk his shit, y'all know J-Rock. I ain't saying J-Rock was right for arguing with them because he could have paid it or did whatever the fuck, like not arguing back or whatever the fuck the case may be. But at the same time, like, it, all this shit just dropped to me. And I'm saying, like, bitch, it don't fucking matter. Like, whatever money she has, she can keep. Is this mine or is this mine? This is disgusting. Yes, that's what it is. He was just over here talking about he don't care about his boyfriend in jail. So, baby, how do you want me, but you over here trying to turn your boyfriend? You trying to prove your point that you going to be real towards me, but you talking about fuck your nigga, fuck your nigga, fuck your nigga. So what's going to happen when I go to jail, nigga? I just got in jail, so what if it's going to be fuck me? It's, it ain't fuck me because I'm out of jail Ooh. right now. You know what? What? Think about it. What? Yesterday, everything was fine. Every single day since I met this boy, everything has been fine. You I get, did. You got arrested. We left last night. As soon as you got arrested, he made plans to go off with Shamar. He had nowhere else to go, so he came here. We wake up. Y'all begin to start beefing. At the, you started beefing with me after I told you Ace was getting bonded out. Because you, when you came out here, you're trying to be friendly and smoke and shit. And then when I came out here and I told y'all we got the bomb and we gonna bomb them out, I asked something else. Uh -huh. You started yeah, the ruckus on live. You started throwing slick shots because it, it didn't really start on the real serious note until you, because I you was watching the live. I showed you live when we was on the phone with the cousin. You got on there live talking about some. Oh, he wants to keep the money for himself. I don't trust him. And from that moment forward, that started the beef. Well, that's move, girl. Damn, move. So what it was, he thought he was going to do his biggest one because she was getting out. So he was going to show his ass. And that shit just didn't work out for him. made him look stupid. Because I know I argue back. But on the same time that I was arguing, I had already secured business. And looking stupid, going to get haircuts and shit. But have yet to try to get this man out of jail. Have yet to say anything. Have yet to done anything. Y'all left. And when y'all left, y'all, I told y'all I was going upstairs to get the shit out of my room so we can all leave. Y'all decided to be gone when I came downstairs. When I went back upstairs after y'all had left and I had got on live, I started getting, we got on the phone with the cousins. And that's when we was all going back and forth. And Shamar got on the live talking about something. I don't care about none of that. I can go in that room when I want to. My name on the room. 
mind you, I haven't renewed the room yet. It was time to check out. It was past time to check out. So I went up to the lady on live. Can I change this to my name? Because, you know, it was in my friend name because I couldn't. I don't have my ID. I said, can I email you? She said, well, we all know you. We all watch you. I know what your name is. I said, okay, cool. So when he went in there doing that stupid shit, talking about stuff, he used the fake ID. The lady on the phone with me and the police officer on the phone with me. The lady said he didn't use no fake ID because he didn't even turn in the ID. He looked as stupid as shit. You know, I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut because I think I just got irritated. Because while I'm arguing with y'all, what was I doing? Taking care of the dog? Because y'all keep talking about pain and shit. I paid y'all most of the day. Yeah. When I said something to y'all, I shut up. I went on about my day. I got two whole lives showing me taking care of the dog without arguing with you bitches. Even driving to pick him up, I didn't argue with you bitches. I didn't really say nothing for real, for real, after that one live in the hotel room until I got and I was sitting there in front of the mama. And I still didn't address you, bitch. I sat in a car and I addressed you after sitting out there with his mama all day. That's when I read your ass down. Mm -hmm. And what y'all fail to realize is it's a video trail of everything that happened today. So when y'all walk up making up lies and shit, oh, I didn't say this, I didn't say that. Well, let me pull up the video so I can show you what you said. Let me pull up the video of what I said. Bitch, I didn't shit or call the fuck ass thing that came out of my goddamn mouth today. I said what the fuck I said and I meant what the fuck I said on every fucking end that I said it. Bitch, like I said, y'all bitches want to go party and get haircuts and shit. But nobody wanted to say, hey, this is horse A shit. Nobody gave a fuck. Everybody knew what the fuck jail he was in. Even if even if y'all still want to come down there, y'all still could have pulled the fuck up at the damn jail. Y'all didn't do that. Y'all get y'all didn't call his mama. Y'all didn't call nobody asking, and getting an update on Ace. Y'all wanted to sit on the live the entire time I was out there with his mama and try to read me, try to argue with me. And for y'all to say, oh, I was doing the same thing all day. No, the fuck I wasn't. Let's go to the YouTube trail. Bitch, I sat in this car, had concerts and every goddamn thing today. While y'all bitches on my second phone talking shit, mad shit about me. His mama was out there watching the live while I was on live. She was watching y'all talk shit about me. His cousins, aunties, was watching all the lives today. <clears throat> The people y'all was with was watching all the lives today. Everybody vouched. Bitch, even though I argued with y'all and read you hoes down today, he still got bonded the fuck out. And y'all was nowhere to be fucking found. But everybody want to talk about he taking side. He ain't taking no motherfucking side. He watched the shit for his, his damn self. And I didn't even have to tell. I didn't give him a fucking video to watch. He went to YouTube his goddamn self and watched every goddamn thing that happened, bitch. Why y'all keep talking about he taking sides? He watched the shit for himself. Ain't not one video missing. And while he was watching the videos, he got eight or nine phone calls saying the same goddamn thing from people that I don't even fucking know. Sound crazy as hell. Y'all trying to take up for y'all's heels. Bitch, everybody was goddamn wrong to an extent. But y'all bitches decide to drag this situation from sun up to goddamn sun down. Bitch, y'all ain't gonna fuck the hell. You you made the situation deeper, Shamar, by coming up here telling the police he's a scammer. He used a fake idea. You looked as stupid as shit. I was sitting in that goddamn pet store laughing my motherfucking ass off watching you do that dumb shit. And what the Man, bro. It's not a fuck ass thing. All this shit is too much. What was that nigga said? I guess, I don't know. Shamar says she over me. So that's that. Um, me, I ain't tripping by nothing there. I'm still me at the end of the day. I'm that nigga. On, on and off this app. I'm not a B 
beef with Jamal. Jamal just told me, she said, uh, what she was saying? She said she over me. She over me because I'm telling her the truth about what the fuck they doing. Yeah, and she following my other friend. And he on some weird type of time. And, and I don't got time for them because they want to catch themselves getting mad at me too. So it's like, still at the end of the day, since nobody and everybody want to just be problematic and beef and have drama, I ain't got time for that. But I always said, I ain't got no beef with Shamar. It's not with Shamar. It's not with Shamar. Because I said, I don't give a fuck what that girl be doing. I do not pay attention. I don't be giving a fuck. I watch and pay attention to what she do, but it don't hurt me and my soul and my heart. Like, I generally do not pay it no mind. But everybody on this line want to make a lot of shit too deep on my end and ain't giving on me. I never once said nothing bad like, fuck Shamar, Shamar got to leave Houston. I never fuck with this whole week. I just said, what I said, she got in my car and everything. <laughs> What's going on with you, girl? Like, you got a little active today. No, I leave. You don't want to suck around. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't see this shit. I really can't see. Yeah, was it making your nose like stuffy? Stuffy? Stuffy nose. You want that on? I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> the new girls in my head is everything. Back up by my Oh, head. yes, can you call me a This fuck. Yeah, I was sleep before I went over there. They was just arguing too motherfucking much on that live. And he thought he threw a push. I woke up. I was like, fuck all that shit. I sneeze, I just bit my tongue. So you know the bandage that I got her today? This is a CBD bandage. Yeah, dude, took the tongue. Looks like the lady, she probably just pissed on it. He was like, you should try these on her or whatever. Maybe it'll give her an appetite. This shit don't woke the fuck up. Girl, high and hungry. These niggas getting baby mama drama. Sit back down.
At the end of the day, Rock went hard and they got him out. Case closed. I feel that statement. Yes. I got him out with the village, though. It wasn't just me. So don't just keep saying Rock. Everybody that pitched in, the supporters, his, his friends that was real to him, his cousins, mama, his whole family. Those people, everybody got him out. Get up and I roll those. Mm -hmm. But I brought it like this. It's my way. Exactly. You big for winning the hoop. That was the purpose. I got up early and did it. Y'all came out here and did it in a spiteful minute. Not probably. I said, Shamar, don't go out there. Because his mom was like, okay, don't ask for nothing else. We all was talking about it. His cousins, we all was on three-way. Y'all can go back and watch the live. The only issue came about was when y'all started making statements about me on live, talking about I needed the money to keep the money that I was telling him to send. Because my whole thing is his bond was well over $1,000. well over it so that hundred and ten dollars wasn't gonna do a fuck ass thing in the first place free me free that dick that dick that dick hello because all this drama shit not for me i'm gonna let you can play his own yeah, I don't do bullshit. I like to smile. Because I was... Oh, I sure all my niggas. Bitches don't look at me. They don't feel me. They don't look at me with myself. They don't feel me. <laughs> that's T. 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 friend got an apartment in the hood, I heard, and <laughs> she said, J-Rock Parker, I love it. Yes. Okay. Bitch, if delusional for a nigga was a crime, bitch, I'd be at the bottom of the motherfucking jail, bitch. If showing church friendship and genuine love to people was a motherfucking crime, bitch, I'd have the death sentence, ho. If Rita Hulse down was a motherfucking crime, bitch, I'd be on maximum security. And if being a real ass nigga was a motherfucking crime bitch, I'd be. I get the death sentence too. Lethal injection. Yo, bro. It's too much motherfucking shit in my way. I'm the face of the city. That's what I mean. Uh -huh. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I'm the face of the city. Bitch. That's, that's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hell. That was crazy. I, I don't know what everybody else beef was that was in that clique. Because <laughs> I promise a guy, I didn't know what the fuck was going on with them other people. I said, huh, you man too? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm going to get on my phone. I had to unpin my cash up because these folks don't fuck with me. These are my followers, and they all be beefing with me for no fucking reason. Like, why y'all be beefing with me, y'all? I thought y'all fucked me. I thought y'all liked me. I thought we were friends. Supposed to be good vibes, good energy. I ain't say nothing wrong.
I'm the face of the city. That's what they mean. Uh -huh. Are you on? Well, I'm the face of every city that I go to. Uh, what's going on with this homeless tour that you got going on? Homeless tour? That's what they said. Hmm. They I'm just want... asking. I'm not saying. Mm. It's okay, brother. They might want to just look a little deeper into me. Because homeless never can never be. They said, so they said, let me walk you through the narrow. You don't have to walk me through anything because I'm a drop. Because I'm not doing this with I'm you. I'm not today. turning on nobody. Wait, what? Yeah. What do you mean? I'm just, but I ain't a mess with us. I'm just, but not. I don't want to. So you, you in debt? I'm not in debt with a fuck ass thing. I don't know who the fuck that is. Bitch, I don't in debt with a fuck ass thing. I don't know about you a fucking guy. Street, Girl, bitch, I ain't in debt with a pussy ass hoe. Yo, so, I've been in jail all night, cloudy. I really love time. I am. Uh,